Hello, and welcome to a Being Boss Flashback Friday episode brought to you by the HubSpot Podcast Network. The HubSpot Podcast Network is the audio destination for the best education and inspiration for how to grow your business. Stay inspired with more podcasts that help you grow your business at HubSpot.com slash podcast network. Corinne here from the Being Boss team, and in this series, we're bringing back some of our favorite conversations from the episode archives. Listen in as Emily and Kathleen discuss the ways they proactively avoid getting to a place of burnout, from being able to say no to setting clear intentions. If you want to hear more of this conversation, check out episode 143, Dealing with Burnout. So another thing we've been doing lately to avoid burnout is saying no to all the things, right? I feel like we've been on a no tirade. I Well, and good. It's funny. We started this year out doing two things. One, not making money goals, which I'm beginning to feel kind of weird about like seven months into it now. Wait, we didn't make money goals? I felt like we did. No, we made so many projections based on things that we knew we would make. But in terms of like growing revenue, we did not make any money goals for the purpose of the second goal of ours for the year. The second like intention for the year was no new things. No more new things. Because Kathleen and I have been so open to every opportunity ever that we wanted to buckle down this year, write the book, hustle out some life, get things in order that are already in order, and do nothing new. So that's pretty much meant we've said no to all kinds of opportunities. And not that we've said no to everything, because there have been a couple of partnerships and some speaking things and other things that we've definitely said yes to. But it well, has forced us to be very picky about right. what it is that we do. And I think those are the opportunities that we were trying to leave open to be able to say yes to, right? Things like speaking gigs, which we're so excited about. And I will say we started to cross the line of no new things. We started looking at hosting citywide (laughs) meetups. We started looking at what it would be like to turn being boss into something that carries product. Like we're talking pins and stickers and notebooks and things like product, right? So we started to really go down those trails. I mean, we're talking website pages were up and ready to click go. Right. And then we thought, you know what? This is against our intentions for the year. And we're not going to do them now. We'll do them soon for sure. But there are just other things that we need to put our focus in. And I think that has been really powerful for us to be really clear on what's working and what's not working. I think that's probably fed into my purging lately, (laughs) meaning just get rid of all the things, is this idea that we are ready for new things. We're probably just, we won't even be able to handle it. But for the moment, we need to just nurture what is here and what is working, let go of everything that isn't so that whenever we are opening ourselves back up to all the opportunities, we'll have plenty of room to let really great ones in. So it's been fun going through life and through my inbox with that sort of mindset. And I think it's really helped with the amount of burnout we could be feeling right now if we had not went into this year with the idea that we were going to do no new things. like And what I've learned through this lesson of saying no to more things is dealing with the disappointment on the other side. There are a lot of people who have been disappointed whenever we've said no, but we've had to do it. To, and we talked about this on the last episode, but to protect our energy, to protect our commitment to no new things. And so I think that if there's a lesson that comes out of all of that for me, it's learning how to be okay with someone else being disappointed in me because I'm not obligating myself to fulfilling their needs, whatever they are. Right. And I've come to terms with that by being so much more aware of how happy I'm making the people that I am giving my energy to. Because, you know, as being boss is growing and as any business grows, you are pulled in so many more directions, but your focus is more required in the directions that it needs to be in. And so the more 
you grow, the more you have to say no. So I feel like this has been an important practice for us moving forward because I definitely see us that will be open to so many opportunities. And, and even though we'll be saying yes to more, I imagine we'll be saying no to even more than we're saying no to now. Yeah. And it's funny because I've been thinking about, you know, conversations around boundaries and how it's hard to not sound like an asshole when you're talking about boundaries. But if you feel like an asshole, you're probably doing it right. So the thing that I found has really helped me through not feeling burnt out is being very particular about making sure that I am maximizing my productivity when I'm actually here working. Because the more I'm able to do in that five, six, seven hour block that I give myself to work on any given day, the more time I have to not work on any given day. So I've actually, I have found if possible, my productivity level is like through the roof, guys. And this has been a multi year practice of getting in here, staying focused, removing distractions, and just busting shit out. And I found so much more pleasure in my life whenever I can run my business in that way. So we get asked all the time, you know, how do I manage my time? And how do I figure out what needs my focus or whatever it may be? And we don't know the answers to focus for any individual person. Look at your priorities, go after your goals, those sorts of things. But whenever it comes to time management, that my weekends and my evenings are that much more pleasurable, usually after a nap or maybe a cocktail or maybe just a veg out in front of the TV to decompress. But it makes it gives me so much more time to live my life whenever I am working like a boss. Okay, so I think that maximizing your productivity so that you can maximize your time away from work is incredible. That's so important. And for me, it really comes down to just knowing what my limits are. And my limits are constantly evolving and changing. And so there have been times lately where I've been working to the limits that I had maybe five years ago, which my capacity for, you know, I don't know, being able to work a 60 hour work week was much different five years ago, pre baby, pre, you know, two different full-time jobs. And now it's just quite a bit different. And so really knowing my limits has helped me know what to say yes to and know what to say no to so I can really follow through all the way. So I have to know my limits by really testing my limits and really getting to the end of my rope and knowing that I can climb back up that rope. So recently that's looked like saying no to some things. It's looked like asking for help on some things. It's looked like having really honest conversations and just saying, you know what? I just really can't do the thing. Thanks for thinking of me. I'm super flattered. I'm super humbled, but I just can't do it. So that's what it's looked like for me. It's just really knowing my limits and sticking to it. I love that. And that's really important. Boss, I know you're on a mission, a mission to guide and influence and build. Having a mission is good for business, but you have to build your business to support your mission too. Whatever your mission is, HubSpot is here to help your business grow better with a CRM platform that grows with you. It's easy to use. Website Builder helps you create, manage, and update your business's unique online presence so you can get your mission out to the world quickly and easily. Plus, with seamless plugins that help you track customer activity, you'll know what's clicking and who's not, all from your HubSpot dashboard. Get started and get going for good with HubSpot. Learn how your business can grow better at HubSpot.com. 